Sepultura, which is my guess at how it might be pronounced, is uh, Portuguese for grave and is also the name of a Brazilian metal band. Uh, it was formed in 1984 by uh, the brothers Max and Igor slash Igor Cavalera, um, and they've had continuous existence since. Uh, they're considered uh, one of the founding uh, bands for groove metal and for early black metal. Um, they gained quite a bit of attention out of Brazil. Um, so they, they've they had a few member changes, but not a huge amount. But the significant ones really are, uh, in 1996, the band had a meeting with Max, uh, who was their front man, singer, I think guitarist as well. Um, and they wanted to fire uh, the manager for the band. But the problem was that the manager was Max's wife. Uh, and so... Um, this was causing tensions because the rest of the band thought that uh, she was giving undue attention to Max. Um, which, you know, given that she was his wife, I, I guess you can see how that might be the case. Um, but over this, Max quit. Uh, so then the band recruited a new front man who was an American called Derek Green, and they continued. Uh, about 10 years later, well, just, yeah, uh, 2007, uh, Max and Igor reconciled, uh, and at that point, Max told some publication that he thought they were going to reform the original lineup of Sepultura. Uh, that's not actually what happened. Uh, what happened was that Igor left and went and joined Max, and they created another band. Um, the, so, of the uh, members that are remaining, there are none who were uh, the initial. At the, at the inception of the band. However, Andreas Kisser and Paolo Jr. joined in the 80s, uh, so quite early on in the band's history, and they're still in. Uh, and they have created 15 albums so far. Hi, my name's Dan. Uh, so this was the fifth album by Sepultura. It was my first encounter with this album and with them as a band. Um, and... This is described by other people as being groove metal, uh, potentially uh, connected to thrash metal. Um, so my understanding of the fine uh, gradations and uh, complex evolution of metal is limited, uh, very much so. Uh, but from what little I know, thrash uh, metal was fast. Uh, metal probably still is. Um, and so kind of archetypal bounds for that are Motorhead and Metallica. Um, and Groove is a similar kind of a thing, but slowed down. And so it's about uh, setting up a groove. Um, to my mind, listen to this, I wouldn't say it's particularly groovy, but then I think of Groove as being things like funk and stuff. So what do I know? Um, so uh, also this features lower tuning. So guitars, where the strings are tuned down so that you get a kind of crunchier sound from it. Um, so the, predominantly the sounds here are chuggy uh, metal chords, growl vocals, uh, and some uh, guitar solos. Um, we're in the harmonic world of metal mostly, which is uh, where certain intervals take quite a lot of prominence, semitones and the four semitone uh, thing. Is it four? Is it, yeah, it's the, what they call the devil's... Um, it's augmented fourth, so it's uh, six semitones. Sorry, um, the devil's interval. Um, that and other things like that. So, around uh, at the end of the eighties, early nineties, metal seemed to go in this different harmonic uh, direction from most of the music uh, because it kind of emphasises the the darkness of it. Um, the <coughs> uh, songs here uh, are uh, mostly about politics and rebellion and organized religion um it you know a shocker that if you want to write music that is opposed to organized religion your uh, genre of choice usually seems to be metal um there's there's some kind of connection here uh this includes a song about uh, israel versus palestine um and generally they seem to be against things um uh, which is you know um <clears throat> a thing that some bands do um so i wouldn't say there were messages i found particularly difficult some metal bands have messages that you know, i struggle with they certainly seem to have an obsession with uh multiple deaths so massacres um and collective suicides and 
riots as well. Um, there's, I would say, the skill here. There's a bite. It's got a real kind of metal edge to it. Uh, there's words that you can still hear, mostly, which is decent. Um, I like it more when they get more musically adventurous. So um, there's in the first track, which is Refuse Resist, they've got some Brazilian drummers going on. Right at the beginning of the track, there's a, uh, a sample of uh, one of the band members, uh, Unborn Son's Heartbeat, which, you know, interesting sound effects in there. Um, possibly my favourite track is the least metal track, which is a track called uh, Kiowas. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Which is an acoustic track, which was uh, recorded in the ru ruins of Chepstow Castle in England uh, at the open air. Um, generally speaking, I like it somewhat. Um, I'm, I'm not a stranger to metal, but I'm not a core metal head at all. I tend to like my metal more prog than this, uh, so more complex. I, I like it when the when the chugging has kind of complex patterns going on, uh, particularly. Um, but yeah, it was all right. It was decent. So that's my opinion. Please lay your, your opinion on me and the rest of the world by putting it in the comments box. That's it from me for now. <laughs>